A Salute to Spirit, presented by Science at NASA. At NASA, missions are expected to go the extra mile. The best-known example, perhaps, is the Voyagers, launched in the 1970s to explore the outer planets the iconic spacecraft have zoomed far beyond their original targets to the edge of interstellar space itself, nine billion miles from Earth and still making discoveries. Pioneer 10 and 11, Ulysses, Stardust Next, Deep Impact, and others have similar track records. It's almost routine now for superbly engineered probes to wrap up their prime mission, then travel a few million or billion bonus miles for extra science. Against this backdrop of sweeping overachievement, we pause to salute a robot that might never move another inch. Well done, Spirit. For the past seven years, Spirit has been on a journey as extraordinary as any mission in NASA history, says Mars Exploration Rover Project Manager John Callis of JPL. But now, it may be time to say thanks and farewell. NASA hasn't heard from Spirit in more than a year. The trouble began back in 2009 when the rover trundled into a sand trap, breaking through an apparently safe crust into soft sand below. Stuck in place, Spirit couldn't turn its solar panels squarely toward the sun. This curtailed power just when Spirit needed power most during the deep freeze of an approaching Martian winter. Where Spirit is, winter temperatures drop as low as minus 130C, Far colder than any place on Earth, says Callus. Without sufficient electricity to power internal heaters, Spirit went into hibernation. NASA has used deep space network antennas and two Mars orbiters to try to reestablish contact, but no luck. Whether the rover is damaged or merely sleeping, no one can say. But most engineers believe the possibility of contact is now remote. On May 25, 2011, NASA concluded the final transmission in its series of attempts to regain contact with Spirit. Spirit landed on Mars on January 4, 2004, for a mission designed to last merely three months. After quickly accomplishing its primary science goals, the rover went on to work for almost six more years. In all, Spirit has traveled almost eight kilometers, explored several large craters, studied thousands of rocks, photographed Martian dust devils and sunsets, observed the moons of Mars, and taken the first picture of Earth in the night sky of another planet. Spirit also found evidence of ancient hot springs, steam vents, a thick atmosphere, and surface water in Mars' distant past. Alone, any one of these discoveries would have been considered a resounding success. Together, they place Spirit squarely atop the pantheon of NASA's great overachievers. This is a bittersweet moment, says Callis. Thanks again, Spirit, for all the great discoveries and oh, so many extra miles. For more information about Mars exploration, including Spirit's twin rover on Mars, Opportunity, please visit science.nasa.gov.